This is Star Talk. Travis says this, one big issue facing humans, especially in the third world countries, is access to clean drinking water. Is there a way to possibly manufacture water through chemistry, or is it just not as simple as throwing two hydrogen atoms together with one oxygen atom? Is it even possible to create water, or is there a finite amount available on Earth? Mm. That's, a, that's a great question. That is a good question. And, you know, it's a, a huge problem for when we want to explore the solar system. Because if we're going somewhere else where there's no water, then we need to take it with us. Or we need to pop by a comet or an asteroid on the way and, you know, get some water from it, melt it, you know, take it with us. Because we need water. And humans are not going to survive very long without it. So if we want to go to Mars, that, again, is one of the big challenges for having humans on Mars. Because to get water off the planet is hugely expensive. Right. It's not very efficient to get, you know, to launch launch stuff into space. So so this is a big problem. We need yeah, we need to find a way to either mine it on these planets if there is any water, but you know, most of them are bone dry. Um that's a big problem. But in terms of the earth, we we have enough water. It's just in the wrong places most of the time, if you know what I mean. It's okay. like right. we it, right. Exactly. I don't think we need to find a way to manufacture it. It's it's more of a way of getting clean water. We have a lot of salt water, but it's getting the clean fresh water in the right places. Um Lindy, do you have anything to add? I just agree with you completely. There's plenty of water, but too much of it is it dirty or too much of it is salty. And we don't know where to find more clean water. And making the dirty, salty water clean is expensive. Yeah. But you can make water. And I was so excited when I did that in the lab the first time. We were doing experiments uh, in these little tubes. And the inside the tube was hydrogen. And... Uh, if you open the tube and the hydrogen started to burn, it makes water. Because when you burn hydrogen, you add you, oxygen. You oxidize yeah. it. Yeah. Water. Wow. And, uh, and and somehow making it and seeing the drops of water fall down uh, was kind of mind blowing to me because uh, you could do it hypothetically or like in your head. But this was for real. We were burning hydrogen and making water. Yep. And this is why she's a scientist because we <laughs> find these kinds of things interesting. Well, that is very interesting. <laughs> I mean, honestly, you're 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 burning hydrogen to create water. That is crazy. I mean, that's yeah. crazy. <laughs> that's a that's basically a James Taylor song. You know what I mean? That's really what it is. So. <laughs> Just about emotions. It's it, all about emotions. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so, wow. Um, so now, it, it, the fact that you've done this in a lab, uh, if we ever got to a place where we actually had to create water, uh, and this is what, what he was saying, we would be able to do that, as Travis wants to know. We would be able to create water out of nothing. I guess so. And I think, didn't they do this in The Martian? I don't know. Yes. It wasn't this. Matt Damon was up there doing this. Right. It went, exactly. it went a bit wrong, didn't it? But you know, when you're burning hydrogen, you got to be a bit careful. But right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey, Travis. Great question, man. That was very, very cool. Um, late, and let me put an addendum on his question. So um, you talk about salty water, water being in the wrong place. You talk about salty water. You talk about dirty water. Yeah. Is there now? We'll never run out of water uh, ostensibly because three quarters of our planet is water. And we have a water cycle. And we have Everything a water cycle. Goes round right. And, and our ecosystem and... is part is is creates the water cycle. Yeah. Is there a way? if we stay on our current course, that we would actually dirty enough water that we will run out of water. Ooh. Is that possible? I don't know. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I don't see why not because we're not very careful with it. And I guess at some point, you know, we will have to find a way to make all the water clean and that will be hard, but we could, you know, we can desalinate the seawater. It's really expensive and it takes right. a lot of energy it's to do energy that, to which is the main problem. Um, I, yeah, I, I have no idea, Lindy. Yeah, and, and so the simple answer is yes, because it's a finite, there's a finite amount of water, so you could make it all dirty. But the thing that I learned recently that really shocked me is uh, most of the water that we get is from wells. It's from underground water, you know, okay. aquifers. Right. Not only do we not know how much water there is in aquifers on the earth, um, almost none of that is, is legislated. Governments don't control how much water you take out of aquifers almost anywhere. So we don't know how much there is. And we're not tracking it and taking care of it. Wow. That's worry. That's worrisome yeah. to say the I least. I didn't know that until just recently. That's a crazy. So what you're saying is uh, there's no regulation on the, the amount of extraction. But there's a lot of places. Uh, uh, right. uh, but there's also no effort to measure how much is actually there. 
people are beginning to work on it, but it, we haven't uh, we haven't gotten there. Wow, that's a uh, that's uh, I'm just going to say that's really stupid, but. You know. <laughs> That's just my opinion. Okay. We're yeah. trying to grow up as as a civilization. We're trying to grow up. We're in a sort of an awkward adolescence here, but. <laughs> All right. <laughs>